children today we are discussing about so meristematic tissue already we completed dermal tissue we are discussing about meristematic tissue meristematic tissue total these are helping in the division helping in the plant division so meristematic tissue also divide into again three types the first one is the apical meristematic tissue the second one is the lateral meristematic tissue the third one is the intercalary meristematic tissue okay children make pets and let's we go to observe outside Good morning to one and all. My name is Ritesh. I am from 9th B. Today I am going to explain about meristematic tissue with my team. First of all, we want to know that meristematic tissue is divided into how many types? There are three types. And what are they? They are apical meristematic tissue, lateral meristematic tissue, intercalary meristematic tissue. That is right. The apical meristematic tissue is present at the tip of the plant. The lateral meristematic tissue is present around the branches. The intercalary meristematic tissue is present the region where the leaves were grown. Today we are going to discuss about apical meristematic tissue. Apical meristematic tissue is helps to grow the plant length. It is help to cell division. If we remove apical meristematic tissue from the plant, the plant does not grow, grow length. So these are the eggs of the butterfly. These eggs mature and change into color. These eggs hatch out into the larva. You can observe this lar larva and change into this caterpillar. And this caterpillar will transform into pupa and from that pupa the butterfly will come out. By doing these observations we can learn so much in our avasam. Good morning to everyone. My name is Shesh Farda. I am from 9th standard. Good morning to everyone. My name is Venkatesh. I am from 9th B. Already Ritesh batch was explained about apical meristematic tissue. Now we observe lateral meristematic tissue. Lateral meristematic tissue is present in lateral part of the stem, around the stem. It is helping growth of the growth in the plants. Now I want to ask a question. What is mean by growth? Diameter of the stem. What is difference between new stem and old stem? Which diameter is very large? Stem diameter is small compared with old stem diameter. We get real experience by observing these plants in our awesome field. Good morning everyone. Today we are here to observe intercalary meristematic tissue. Intercalary meristematic tissue, it is a divisible tissue. Intercalary meristematic tissue is helps to grow new branches, new buds, new flowers and leaves. If we remove the intercalary meristematic tissue, plant will not able to grow new stems, new buds, new leaves. What we have learned in the class, now we are observing directly in the plant. This is a real experience for me. It is very helpful to understand easily. Thank you.